Hey, what's poppin' boys, girls, everyone in between and otherwise? My name's Adrian. Welcome back to Life Hates Adrian. Today, this story is a little bit of, uh, of a overlap, almost. It's kind of like a part two. To the story time, a centipede slept with me. Or whatever it was called, I don't remember. Oh my god, the centipede came back and it's back with a vengeance. It's back for blood. It wants, it, it tried to kill me. It almost killed me. You're probably like, oh, that title's so clickbait. It didn't almost kill you. You are so wrong. It, I almost died and it's like a long story, kind of. It's really short, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a long story, not really. Pretty short to be perfectly honest but the centipede came back and it wants blood. It's like they saw my video and they're like offended and they're like, we want justice. And the justice would to be to kill me. Um, that's what they're trying to do. I'm telling you right now, it's, it's the end for me. This is my channel. It's gonna be taken over by centipedes any minute now. But um, right now I'm safe because I have to tell you guys this story. This story is, um, it's, it's kind of more traumatic than the last one simply because now I know what they want, my death. I am sick if you can't hear, so pardon me, but you know, this story need to be told just in case any of you guys are unsafe now that uh, you're watching this and now that you're aware of the centipede apocalypse going on in my house. They want blood, guys. They just, they want me dead. Anyways, without further prolonging, let's get into this horrific, horrific, beyond belief, horror movie type story. So let's get into the video. Okay, so. I'm just chilling, like on the computer, just just doing whatever, like living life, just chilling, living my own life. And then I hear my mom scream, and I'm like, "Oh crap! It's either a bug or like something. Like it's, it's she saw something." And I was like, "Oh no! What do you need?" But like, in a more normal way, not sarcastic. And she said, "There's a centipede!" <laughs> and instantly, I'm like, "I know what I have to do." So I've learned from my mistakes. Instead of getting like a single tissue or something like that, because I'm an idiot. I still can't get over that. But instead of grabbing a single tissue, I decided to grab a slipper, like a flip-flop, like a Nike flip-flop, a slide if you would. And I'm um, like, I am going to protect you. I am an expert at this. They can't, they can't scare me anymore. I've slept with one. And I feel like they knew that. Like they knew that I wasn't scared of them for a little bit. So they're like, ha ha, we're gonna make you scared. So I go down and I run down my stairs into the basement and i start running towards my mom she's in like the laundry type area in the basement and i'm like i have the slipper i have the slipper i have the slipper and she's like come over here and i'm running all of a sudden my floor is slippery and i guess i didn't realize that because i'm wearing socks i full on slipped like that i was running like this and then went whoop i in i probably flew i i honestly think i flew in the air I fell on my butt, it was, I was in so much pain. But being the brave soul that I am, I took that flip-flop and I threw it to her. And I knew that I was the savior during that day. I could have died. <laughs> and that sounds overdramatic and I'm aware, but d I can't even reenact this. I literally cannot reenact my fall because I flew. Like, I, I flew. I will, I'll draw it, I'll draw it right now. See me? I'm just running. Just moving normally. Yeah, yeah. Whoops! On my butt. On my butt. I literally did that. If I wanted to, I couldn't reenact that. But yes, I threw her the slipper. It got to her and she killed it. Shout out to her. This time I didn't have to kill it and feel it crunch my hand. That's the plus. I feel like, like centipedes are just out to get me now. They like know that I'm not as scared of them because I can't be like, what's worse than I don't know, sleeping with a centipede? And you think to yourself that, what could be worse than sleeping with a centipede? And well, a centipede causing you to fall, probably bruising everything, nearly dying, nearly, is pretty much worse. Like, like they know, they know, they're the FBI. Well, they just know things. Like, centipedes are just insane. They were, they fully knew that I was gonna fall. I'm telling you guys right now. They knew that I was gonna fall and that was their plan. I could have hit my head in so many different ways. I could have put my arm down weirdly. I could have, mm, mm, I could. I'm shook, I'm still shook. What am I gonna do now? Now that they're out to get me, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Now that I know that they're out to get me, I don't know how I'm gonna live my life, how I'm gonna go down the street. Always being scared that I'm gonna see a centipede. 
And the car is gonna come out of nowhere and hit me. Um, no, that is not gonna happen. I'm gonna jinx it. I'm giving them ideas. But anyways, that was me um, basically sharing the fact that I am now scared of centipedes. Again, I'm no longer brave because they, they're trying to kill me. <laughs> that story was scary. I know you, you, you thought it was scary too. You can't lie. Yeah, I flew. I flew. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.